What's going on? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down Shy Gilgis Alexander. Lightning. <laughs> Shy Gilgis Alexander. Great player. We all know. He's on the Thunder. So in this piece, I was able to combine blue and orange, those nice cinematic lights, colors that you like to see, and make a nice piece with it. So let me know what you guys think after the overview. In this piece today, I used shopscope.com and my pack, the lightning pack that you guys can go cop now. And the store is now open. So I really appreciate it if you guys go over there and check out shopscope.com and you're going to be helping yourself out getting a pack that's going to be useful and resourceful for you and help you upgrade as an artist. So as I'm loading this up and seeing everything, the first thing I like to do is make my composition, right? So I might have my subject there. I might not. But the first thing I want to do when I'm doing manip a manipulation is I want to create the scene. So I'm just creating the scene right now, getting the right assets. I like to use unsplash and I know that I wanted to make my own personal lightning scene at like a beach sunset or something like that, just to add a little bit of different elements. So I like to add a little bit of water if I can, if I'm going to use a little bit of lightning, you know, water's got that cool blue type of haze to it. So it just fit the scene as well. And that's just, this is just what I was thinking. A lot of times in art, just go with what you're thinking and go with your gut and see where it's going to go. In this case, it worked out. And I really liked how this piece came out. Sometimes, you know, you're not going to get the best result the first time and that's okay. Or, you know, a couple times in a row, that's just a part of it. But you guys see, I'm using my curve slider. I really like to use curves and I'm using curves on my blues and just really making this look like a cool scene. Like, you know, kind of just hit nighttime. There's a little bit of light left, possibly a little bit of light left, but it just hit nighttime. And now we're going to get a little bit of that lightning that's going to be making this scene pop out, making this scene really come to life. But first we got to get our scene together, adding these ocean waves, added a lighthouse that I even used a little constant aware. I just duplicated the same image. And if you just position them right, it kind of looks like a different image using the same type of things on the ocean waves, those curved sliders, they come in so handy, man. And you might say at first, like how harsh the, waves are on the ocean, but I wouldn't worry because what you can do is you can add haze and I like to add haze to almost everything I create. <laughs> so right here, I'm adding in some of the lightning from the shopscope.com lightning pack. Shout out to Brian Terranova for rendering out all of these lightning assets in 3d. Make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram or wherever he's at. He's got a YouTube page as well, man, but big shout out to him. Really glad I've been able to put something together now that my supporters can really grab and give me feedback on. And we're just going to keep this going. We're just going to be putting out more and more packs on shopscope.com. man. so let me know what packs you guys want to see. And that will definitely help me for the future. Adding a little bit of light just with a soft brush into that lighthouse over there, bringing the scene to life. A big thing about making a scene, you don't want it to be dead. So really think about every action and every placement of, you know, the whole scene. A lot of times I see, especially in my discord, you guys will have super nice blended skies or scenes or environments, but there's not really much intent to why something looks the way it does. Right? So why, why, why do you have waves back there? What, what light is going to be affecting those waves? Why do you have a lighthouse back there? Can you bring that lighthouse to life? Can you bring everything in your scene to life? Whatever you have in the scene is important. So think about every piece of your scene as being important. So right here, I'm doing that tilt shift blur. The tilt shift blur brings it all together. Once I had my sky background done, I just merged it down. I merged it into one layer, one flat layer, because I was so confident in it and I knew the background looked on point. I was like, all right, cool. We can merge this into one layer. I'll keep it for a smart object for my Patreon. Shout out to all my patrons. You guys get all my project files that I'm working on. So I really do appreciate all my patrons, man. Adding in those highlights now with hue and saturation, I did drop a recent video on cinematic lighting, and this is the same method I use for the highlights that you see that are going to be orange on Shy Gillis Alexander's skin. A thing that you want to focus on when you're doing lighting is focus on the highlights that were already in the original picture, especially on the face. The face is the first thing that people are going to look at when they view an image. So definitely take your time to focus on how the face looks in perspective to the scene, but just it has to look good. Just make it look good, right? That don't be so worried about 
the exact lighting setup that you mess up the scene and mess up your subject and he doesn't look good right so just understand the rules and understand lighting rules how light bounces and reflects off everything but still at the same time the main thing that we do as artists is we make things look good right so we make things look good so just try to make things look good the way that you see fit and you're just gonna get better and better every piece every project so don't be discouraged if a project doesn't come out the way you want the first time or even the first couple times you feel like you're in a rut you just got to keep going man and do what looks good to you and that's gonna help you not be so stuck up in hey i don't like my artwork compared to these people and all that other stuff right so i'm adding more human saturation and i really like how the blending is going i wanted to add a little bit more pop so here's when i started thinking of okay now we can really really get to using this lightning pack so i'm adding in these lightning blurs in the front and then they're gonna just gonna be all kind of surrounding shy gilgis alexander as well i really like the the ground lightning that added a super cool element that you guys are going to see and right i'm just moving around this lightning okay that didn't look good get it out of there it's all right it didn't look good i'm gonna delete it that's what you gotta do you just gotta delete things bring them back if they look good it don't matter adding these lightnings in and this is where everything just starts popping man turning it all to that orangey saturation and then i add the highlights on there and that and that kind of concluded the project once i added those highlights because i felt like it was really really set in place and it was in a nice spot once you feel like your artwork's in a nice spot sometimes just leave it don't do too much you're gonna overthink it it's gonna become too complicated sometimes just leave it once it looks good to you but I added that highlights in the sky to add some more orange contrast and bring the scene to life. So just try to focus on two or three colors max and you will get a really great result. So here's the final product. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know down below, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want the full project file with all groups name, be sure to become a patron today. Castlescope Patreon links are down below. Be sure to grab a pack and check out shopscope.com today if you want to upgrade as an artist. More on the way. Give me feedback. What do you guys want to see in the shop? It's been Castlescope. Stay scoped, guys. Peace.